Let's go sit down. Barbara Yasinski has accomplished a rare feat. She's disabled and recently landed a job. It was hard work, but now I finally reached my goal. I'm part of the regular job market. Sharaman Sribalan would also like to be employed. I think I'd like to design cars. He's also disabled. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Damla, forty-one in yellow. For the past three years, Sharaman Sribalan has worked at a so-called sheltered workshop in central Berlin. I think that can go in another bag. These workshops employ disabled people to do simple tasks, like taking laundry to the laundrette in the mornings. Hi, yeah, yeah. Sharaman has a cognitive and a physical disability. He needs a bit more time to do certain things. Come over here. Go on the other side. Here? No. Over there? No, come here. You're walking in the middle of the road. Oh, that's what you mean. Yes, you're right. But Sharaman would like to get a job outside of the workshop, doing something more challenging. Let's go. I want to experience something new, and that's why I want to work with cars. I'm also interested in another scientific area that I'm focused on right now. And what area is that? Chemistry, physics, but I can't tell you more. While Sharaman's ideas about that are still a bit vague, he knows where he wants to get to eventually. He would like to design sustainable cars. The reason I said I can't tell you more is that if I tell you, people who watch this might think negatively about my goals. That's why I don't want to make a big deal out of it and say only the minimum. Because if I say too much, people will think I'll never reach my goal. In the past, people often underestimated the 24-year-old. Here at the workshop, he can let his creativity roam free. Very nice relations. The art that's made here is sold, and Sharaman is very productive. His salary is fixed. He earns 180 euros a month, far less than the German minimum wage. Excuse me. He wants to find a regular job, also to earn more. But so far, the work was too difficult for him. They decided that I should not be doing a normal job, that I should instead work in a sheltered workshop. I accepted that because I'm the one who was responsible for what happened. Barbara Yazinski is already a step further. It's early morning and she's on her way to work. It took a lot of effort but now she's part of the regular job market. Although she still gets support from the workshop she was previously at. Barbara has a job at a daycare center for pensioners. Here we are, our room. She likes to arrive early so that she can have a bit of time to herself before her six hour workday begins. Hello. They're all back there. Hello, Anna. I usually arrive at 10 past 8. That gives me time until 9. Time for a cigarette. <laughs> there are days when she's less keen to work than others. Barbara feels she's already overcome the biggest challenge. She found a regular job. After five years working in a sheltered workshop, it was a major step for her. I've always been interested in working with elderly people. 
But I wouldn't want to work in a nursing home. I prefer daycare centers like this one. Why? Nursing homes are more challenging. It is harder, and I think you need to work Saturdays and Sundays as well. Here you have the weekends off. Good morning, Gerhard. Barbara, disinfect the hands, please. Barbara's job is to assist the daycare staff. She's still learning what to do when. Ruth, come here. Should we hang up your jacket? There's a bit of commotion, but Barbara stays calm. This is pretty normal. It's often more hectic. There's a staff shortage in senior care, and Barbara could see herself working here. But work life isn't just about the job. It's also about teamwork and doing as the boss, Tatiana, says. Anna, can you get me a coffee with milk, please? Barbara, Barbara, please don't blow your nose in the kitchen. You can eat in the kitchen, but please blow your nose and wash your hands here. Barbara is new on the team. One of the jobs here is now hers. And for some of her colleagues, that wasn't so easy. Because they said, we are doing much more work than she is, and we can't hand things off to her. So there was a need for all of us to talk this through. Back at Sharaman's workshop. In Germany, these workshops were recently criticized for being too sheltered and exploiting workers. But there are reforms. Uta Maka, an employee here, is helping Sharaman find a regular, better paid job. Keep your ear to the ground and tell people, hey, I want to work with cars. Can I do an internship to learn the ropes? Okay. Sharaman's previous internship with a mechanic didn't go well. From their perspective, I did a lot of things wrong, but I really did do my best. Of course, no one doubts that. But that job wasn't right for you. I think I would like to design cars. That's what I can imagine doing. Here, I'm designing as well. I make art. My idea is, you know, my vision, to design a sustainable car. I mean, just the outside. I would really like to find you a research department where you can be creative. Right. Where it's about exploring and testing different shapes. But that's also really a challenging undertaking. Because typically that's a job done by people who've studied design or are trained engineers. Yes, true, but I still want to pursue this path. Okay, that's good to know. As a job coach here, Uta tries to find something that meets Sharaman's expectations and matches his abilities. There's plenty of demand on the labor market. Yeah, I'm just in a meeting. Companies have begun actively looking to sheltered workshops to recruit employees. Good. Okay, speak soon. Bye. Yoo-hoo! We might have two internships at a bakery. The job interview is already lined up. There are several. Several employers who are looking for interns. I always rip it. I know how I should do it, but it won't work for me. Do you know why? Why? Because you can hold it on the right or left. It takes a lot for the economy to become truly inclusive. Both employers and employees need to adapt. But in this case, it's Barbara who worries her contract at the daycare center won't get extended. She doesn't want to return to her old job at the workshop. People there had severe disabilities, and some have big deficits. It was too much for me. 
Today she has an appointment with the job coach to speak about a training opportunity. Hello, Frau Merker. Hello, na? But the problems Barbara has been facing at work have left her feeling demoralized. What do I care about work? I've been working despite severe pain. Nobody said you have to work sick. That's not right. Well, but they did. No, but they had the feeling that again you were missing work. Again. Why are we arguing about this? Do you want to quit by December 31st? That's no problem. Yes, because this is a dull job. It's so dull. And what can I say? I don't really enjoy this work. It's always the same. They arrange for Uta Merke to come to the daycare center more often to encourage Barbara. Yeah. Ms. Jasinski, see you in two weeks. Good luck. Yeah. Tschüss. Things are looking up for Sharaman. He's about to start an internship at a car paint shop. It's not the design agency he was after, but it's a step in the right direction. Today is the day he's signing his contract. I've never done a paint job before. Okay, but you fixed cars? No, but I would like to learn in January. Okay, you're new to this. No yeah, right. No worries. Sharaman is treated without prejudice here, and the boss is open-minded. Hi there, how are you? Well, and you? I'll help this young man. He can learn something here. He can do this four-week internship. That's not a problem. Will Sharaman Sribalan one day design electric cars? Only time will tell. But in any case, he has taken the step he wanted, out into the world and away from his old job at the workshop. As for Barbara Yasinski, after the three months, her contract was extended by another six months. <laughs>